it is your girl, Boss Lady Lexi, coming in with breakfast. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I don't know why. I can always shop better when I'm by myself. I picked up the wrong yogurt yet again. Rushing with children. But I'm going to toughen it out. I have seven more bowls of this nasty yogurt. Is Greek yogurt, and I do not like Greek yogurt, but I'm going to toughen it up. And be done with it. Okay, I'm here today with just some random questions that, um, I don't even know what it is, but I'm just going to answer them. What is your number one goal this year? My number one goal this year is to succeed in whatever I put myself forth in, such as um, hashtag one pound at a time. Um, that's my like main passion right now. I would love to see it just continuous, continuously grow and grow and grow. I want to be able to continue to inspire people. Um, that's pretty much, oh, and to be healthy, um, to be fit and healthy. Whew. Got some things working in the background and it's going to be hard, but I'm going to push, push, push. Okay. I'm going to push. Yes. I'm going to push. What am I most grateful for? I am mo most grateful that I am able to push towards um, my goals, um, not being limited and letting things stop me. I, I, I just want to keep going and going and going. As many people as I can touch and inspire and encourage, that's what I want to continue to do. I also would like to see my channel continue, continue to grow and build better content than what I have done in the past. Are you content? No. I'm never content because if you, if I became content, that means that I have settled to stay where I am and I don't want to ever settle to stay where I am. I always want to elevate and be lifted high um, to go and do better things in life than to just be stagnant and stay in one place. What is my best memory of last year? Whew, let me see. My best memory of last year, I would have to say, is creating a YouTube channel and coming out of my shell from being so relaxed and not wanting to do anything. So... I am super duper happy that I am now free to do whatever it is that I want to do. What was my last major accomplishment that I had? The last major accomplishment that I had, and I would have to say it's very recent, is getting my two kids. Um, I've never raised a boy before, so having a son, y'all, it ain't easy. Let me tell y'all, it's not easy. He missed the school bus on the first day, which was today. So, you know, I was hot that I had to get up and take his little behind to school. But that won't be happening no more because guess what? By the time he get finished writing, I must not miss the school bus. I must not miss the school bus as, until I tell him to stop. He ain't gonna miss that school bus no more. Mm-mm. Mm, mm, mm. And it's not like I didn't wake him up in time. Because I did. He is so focused on television, phones, iPads, tablets, whatever you want to think of. Games. And, you know, you got to change that cycle. That's all. 
And that's what I'm doing. I must not miss that school bus. <laughs> you won't miss it no more. Okay. Um, what possessions could you not live without? Oh. Um, I couldn't live without a car because I don't like public transportation because it's the kids are just and people are just so evil and cruel. Um I couldn't live without my phone. Um, I can go hours without touching it, yes, and that's being awake. Um, but I need my phone because people need to contact me and I need to contact them. Um, business goes on as usual and you need a phone to do that. Can people change? Absolutely. Yes, people can change. Now, the question should have been, do people want to change? You have some people that don't want to change at all. They are just happy being in the place that they are in. But as for me, I'm willing to change every single day. I want to change something every single day. I want to learn something every single day. I want to do something new every single day. And I try to do that. Even you all don't see it in the backgrounds, but I be trying different workout techniques. They just don't work for me because of my body having so much arthritis in it. But I'm just hoping that in this new season, um, that things are going to change. Things are going to change. I'm looking forward to that. What is the last good thing that I have eaten? Mm. It's not this. Mm. Oh my gosh, y'all. Let me think. The last good thing that I have eaten was... I'm going to have to say my birthday party when I went to Timbuktu and had those crab cakes. Oh, my gosh. They were delicious. I mean, absolutely delicious, y'all. And I got excited and I can hear myself talking over top of myself. So I'm going to tone it down. So. What is your current favorite snack? <sighs> my favorite snack. Well, we're going to go with two favorite snacks. I'm going to do a healthy snack and an unhealthy snack. A healthy snack would be like a handful of different nuts, cashews, almonds, peanuts, um, pecans, walnuts. Those would be the good healthy snack. Now, the bad snack... And I don't even know if this is bad because I don't think they're fried. I think they're baked. But they're by Uts. They're called their baked cheese curls, but they're not the puffy ones, the crunchy ones. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all, they are the best. I can't find them, but they are the best. And when I do find them, I buy a lot of them. Yeah, I do. And those unhealthy snacks that I got for Christmas are still in that closet. I'll reward myself with one one day, but not right now. What made me smile today? Mm, well, the day is just beginning, so it's going to be two things. One, that I woke up this morning. That should not make me just smile. That should make me want to shout. Eh, eh, eh. That's what it should do, and it did do. And the second one is being here before my YouTube subscribers, my subbies, my little bosses. You all are the best. I mean the best in the land. And I thank y'all. I don't take y'all for granted at all. I really thank y'all. What is my favorite accessory? Hmm. My favorite accessory are chokers. 
I think chokers accent me so much. What is my favorite makeup? My favorite makeup, I would have to say, is lipstick. And I know I don't wear it often, y'all, but it, it's a process. Like I keep saying, this that bag over there, and I wasn't getting up to put it on again. And the only one that is right here close to me is this blue. And I wear it so much, so I just said, you know what? Not today. Mm-mm, not today. Um, what is making me mad? What makes me mad has to do with children, is when they don't listen, when they don't follow simple directions. That's what makes me mad. Another thing that makes me mad, upset, angry, furious, frustrated, is bullying. Bullying needs to stop. No one, no one deserves to be bullied. No one deserves to be bullied. No one. Absolutely no one. But it asked me, what am I having for dinner today? Along with, I'm going to the store to get them, my sugar-free popsicles. <laughs> Why y'all ask, the day has just started. What did you get done? Uh, I guess they're asking, what did I get done today? What I got done today is absolutely nothing. I haven't done anything other than take my godson to school. <sighs> and here before you all, drinking breakfast, a smoothie. That is, oh, I didn't tell y'all what's in this smoothie. I do apologize, y'all. In this smoothie, we have ice, bananas, strawberry, orange juice, orange-flavored protein, and Dan and Greek yogurt, but I picked up the wrong yogurt because this one only has 12 grams of protein, and the other one that I normally use has like 20-something. Who was my last telephone call? My last telephone call. Messed his was... name up. I believe it's E B E B X something. Y'all, this question says, Who am I in love with? Oh my gosh. I'm so in love with jesus i'm so in love with my lord there's joy down in my soul and i want the world to know that i'm so in love with jesus i am going to bring this q a um to a close, it has been real. Still sipping. On that smoothie, which is nasty, but I'm going to still finish it up. Phase three. I thank you all for tuning in. I love you all equally. If anyone asks you who I am, you can tell them that I am hashtag one pound at a time, a.k.a. Boss Lady Lexi. Bye, everybody.